Hello there, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot. We are having a look at your May 2023 money and career. We're going to see what energies are coming out, what messages are for you guys. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. Your like, share, subscribes, and all of your fantastic energy. If you do find that something in this reading resonates with you, whether it's the whole thing or whether it's the entire message or just a little bit, I think I screwed that up, um, <laughs> please hit that like button there, um, subscribe to my channel, and uh, leave me a comment in the box down below. So let's have a look and see what we've got coming in here for you guys. So we have seeing beyond, all right? So you're trusting your intuition in the month ahead. You have a vision, you have a goal, you have a plan. You can see something in your mind's eye. You can see solutions that other people can't. So trust in that energy. We have in the month of May, on May 5th, we have a lunar eclipse in the sign of Scorpio. And this is actually the final eclipse out of the 2022 eclipse season. So you may have manifested something in a number of months ago, um, way back in the fall. And so something could be coming to fruition for you right now, or you are completing out, closing out a cycle, a chapter in your life, and you're seeing a better way ahead, a better path forward for yourself okay um seeing beyond really does give you that vision that you see in your mind's eye to create to imagine um something just a little bit out of the ordinary for you so your third eye is activated your um your higher chakras are activated you're not going to let anything stand in your way in the month ahead here gemini what you're going to do with this energy is, you know, you're going to face and tackle your problems, your issues, your blocks head on, but you're not going to just focus on the problem. You're going to find a way past it. You're going to see beyond those things. You're also going to see the potential in any opportunity that may um, come across your path or that you may discover. And this is a good energy to be in with this because we do, of course, have Mercury in retrograde in the sign of Taurus. Taurus. Okay, so this can certainly have you re um, relooking, revisiting your finances, your career goals, the resources that you have. Okay, when Mercury goes retrograde, we take a step back, we revisit things, we have to take our time at things, but we also might get a second chance. Okay, a door opening that may previously have felt like it had closed. And I think here that you have that ability here to see the big picture. Um, maybe gain that big, big, big dose of clarity and insight that's necessary to do whatever it takes to improve your situation, whether that makes creating change, starting something new, um, or even just having a look to see where there's issues and where you can make those improvements. So it's a great energy for you. And we do have a higher view coming in here for you as well. And this is about rising above things and seeing the big picture, seeing the potential. A higher view speaks to your intuition and also speaks to your ability to really see things from an angle, from a perspective that may be elusive to other people. I feel like there might be some rewards on the horizon for some of you. Um, maybe you have some very wonderful uh, problem solving skills. Um, you might have some deep insights that other people don't have. Um, you may even get uh, something, your intuition is showing you the path, showing you the way. And um, I think here that you'll be able to, um, if there's any kind of like danger on the horizon with your money or there's something going on um, in your workplace, I think you're going to kind of have a heads up that other people don't have. Okay, and you're going to use that to your advantage, right? Your spidey senses are going off the charts there. But when we do have that higher view, we are invited to rise above issues, to rise above our current situation, to see that big picture. And that way we can see possibilities and options and opportunities that wouldn't normally be seen if we just stayed on the ground and just looked in front of our face. So I think that there is something beyond the reach of your normal vision, but when you embrace your third eye, when you embrace this ability to see that big picture and you take that step back, I think this is where you discover 
um, a solution, an opportunity, and you get things on track. We have the hermit right in the um, right in the heart of your reading here. So the hermit can certainly show um, that there is a need to go within. Okay, to go within, to do a little bit of a gut check, to think about what it is that you want, um, to think about what brings you prosperity, abundance into your life, where are you putting your money, where are you putting your resources, and um, what potential there is for growth in the future. Is it, are you on the right track, or is it time to start something new and invoke some change? And when we go into hermit mode, we do retreat from the world a little bit. Because we need to do that gut check, right? We need to do a little bit of soul searching there. Um, I do think I do think that um, for some of you, you either have a goal already, that wish, that goal, that dream that lights your lantern, that lights the path forward for you, um, or you're going to get that deep insight um, in the month ahead. Okay, and this really does give you a clear sense of direction. Okay, and you, and once you know the power of knowing, right, the, once you know why you want something or what it is you want or what you need to do, then things get a little bit easier, okay? Um, but I do think some of you are really looking to embark on an adventure because the whole point of the hermit going into hermit mode and lighting that lantern with a goal, a wish, a dream, um, a premonition, okay, is to move forward and light that path, okay? So some of you might be looking to make some bold moves. Um, some of you might just be looking into the future, the great beyond, and uh, you're starting to make some steps to get to where you want to get to. The Hermit does bring about a solitary energy though, so perhaps there's something here where it's your wish, your goal, your dream, your vision that you're wanting to move forward with, that you're wanting to progress with. You're not, not necessarily relying on anyone else. You're not like, you know, pushing people away necessarily, okay? But it is this solitary energy. So maybe there's something here that is just for you. All right. Um, some of you may, be fi may find yourself in a position where you want to break out and go into business on your own. Okay. Or you might be in a workplace right now where you're surrounded more people, like where you're surrounded by people, but you feel like you're an island. You feel like you're all by yourself and that no one's picking up the slack. No one's taking responsibility. And you know, you're like, I like, how come I'm the only one that cares? Right. So you might need to assess that situation. The hermit does bring healing and insights. Okay. Um, really does connect with your spiritual side as well. So, I mean, we've got like, got some big energy here for you, uh, Gemini. So I think maybe there's like a new thought process coming in, a different train of thought. Um, you're expanding your mind, you're expanding your options, all these things. Maybe you're even learning something here as well, or you are applying some wisdom that you have gained to and use that to your advantage to manage your money, okay, or to make more money. All right, let's see what's crossing you, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so with the Hermit card, right, because the Hermit isn't isn't one where we're moving forward yet, okay, and with the Eight of Wands crossing, some of you are looking to make some moves, right? Some of you are looking for something to shift, something to change. You want to move forward, right? You want to get on with things, and but first you need to figure out what do I want, right? So, and then once you know what you want, boom, you're springing into action, some of you this month, you've got a lot on the go with the Eight of Wands, right? I mean, there's, you know, sometimes the Eight of Wands can bring in good news. There's some excitement in the air, a crackle, a spark. There's also a lot to accomplish, right? But it's it's attainable, whatever it is that you've got going on. But when this is crossing you, this can represent some delays or a lack of direction. And if we have a lack of direction, that's where the Hermit energy really does come into play, right? We connect with our higher selves. We get that clear that we get that clarity that we need so that we can get the ball rolling again. Okay. And if you're really busy, if you've got a jam packed May, you've got a lot of things on the go and this eight of wands, you might just be thinking, I don't even know where to start. And again, the wisdom that's in your soul with the hermit card, the experience you've gotten over the years is a little bit of time management and you might be just trying to, you know, put your ducks in a row there. Okay. I do feel that some of you are waiting for something to change for the better. You're waiting for something that you've manifested. You're waiting for that door to open. You're waiting for some good news. And I feel like it's been delayed here for a while. 
Okay, and with this crossing you, yes, it's a little bit of a waiting game, but this may open up for you. So there might be some good news coming in um, or some opportunities opening up, okay, opportunity for change, for growth, for moving forward, and uh, it might be quite exciting. So it's just like, just got to wait for the right moment for the right time. Um, above you, crowning you, your goals, thoughts, possibilities, queen of pentacles, you want the money, honey. Okay. You're looking for um, you're looking for abundance and prosperity, success, and all these things in your world. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is about is brings in a nurturing energy, so nurturing your goals and your dreams, and allowing something to happen because you're open, you're receptive to possibilities, to change, to improvements, to whatever it happens to be. It is a very patient energy, so I feel like if you've been waiting for something, you've been very patient. Okay, especially if you've just been waiting for like the right time. Timing is quite often everything. And so um, I feel like here that you've been very patient and your patience may be rewarded in a very wonderful and positive way. But the Queen of Pentacles, yes, it does speak to your money. Um, so you've been nurturing some goals and some dreams and some visions. Some of you are very focused on your home or you're very focused on um, your career. Maybe there's something here where you need to um, take your time to get to the finish line, right? Instead of racing towards something, you need to take your time, take that step back. And Mercury Retrograde will probably help you with that a little bit, okay? <laughs> Sometimes it's like, uh, okay, can we get going already? Okay, so you may need to practice a little bit of patience, one foot in front of the other, pay attention to the details, always pay attention to the details um, anyway, right? But Mercury Retrograde, pay extra close attention. To the details make sure that you know exactly what you're getting into before you sign anything but the queen of pentacles you could be very focused on your money your career your home as well some of you maybe you're wanting to um you might have a relationship that's going to take it get get to the next level here you're on your own right now to make some money but you may have a partnership here that does um uh, put you in a better place financially in some way, okay? Um, you might be looking to buy a house, right? Move, right? The eight of um, wands can be about movement. Move to a better location, move to a better neighborhood, buy a house, lease a house, something like that, okay? Or maybe you're looking to spend a little bit of money to spruce up your bat cave a little bit with the hermit energy, right? So where we go and we go in our cave, right? And we connect. So, you know, maybe you're looking to kind of spruce up your home space a little bit and that'll cost you a little bit of money, but it'll actually um, do, your, do you a lot of good, okay? You might just be feeling quite creative in this energy here as well, okay? But I do feel here that you, you know, you know about something, okay? You know about something and I think you're very much, very much waiting for that right moment, that right time, that right opportunity, okay? And very calm and very grounded in this energy. We've got the five of wands. Now, this is beneath you, okay? So maybe you're kind of feeling... Um, this is like your underlying feelings, your subconscious, and the five of wands is an energy of conflict sometimes, okay? It can also be one of competition. It can also be one of drama, things like that, right? So um, maybe you're feeling a little bit unsettled. Um, maybe you're feeling like wherever you are in your environment is, you know, maybe filled with some infighting, that kind of thing. It's like people should be banding together and working together to achieve a common goal. And maybe you're feeling like, I don't know if this is the right place for me because this is a chaotic environment and I'm looking for calm and peace and serenity in my world and looking for something more stable. So if you're in a workplace, say, and it's filled with a lot of ups and downs, a lot of turmoil, and some days people work together with the five of wands, which should be people working together to achieve a common goal, but other times they'd want to tear each other's faces off. So if that's the case for you, you're looking to get the hell out of Dodge. Okay, in that energy. All right, but I also do feel that maybe there's something here that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. And it could just be that, you know, change might be uncomfortable. Or it could be that if you're feeling like you're not in the best environment, whether it's in your workspace, whether it's in your home space, I feel like here that you are ready for some change, 
Fives can represent obstacles and challenges, but it can also represent exciting opportunities to, for change to make things better. So you might be ready for something a little bit better, something more stable, something with more opportunity. Um, and you are being very patient in your energy here to find it, to get it. Um, you know, or again, if you're waiting for some news or something to come in there for you. Okay. I feel like here that you're, you're, Ooh, it's like, okay, come on, come on already. You might be, you might be trying to stay patient, but you're also like a little bit impatient at the same time. Coming forward from April into May, we have the chariot card here. Now the chariot card is a wonderful energy of things coming into alignment for you. This is finding um, our balance, our harmony. This is where our yin meets our yang. So our energy of being receptive and open meets our energy of taking action, our drive, our virility here. Okay, and the chariot card shows that there is some vision, there's some goal that, that you have Okay, and you've taken some steps or you need to take some steps, okay, to move forward, right? The chariot, uh, the chariot is um, um, an energy of success, but it speaks to your ambition, your drive, your determination, and your willpower. Why are you successful? Because of the actions that you've taken. Why do you overcome obstacles? Because you know that you can and you've got all your ducks in a row, right? And it's one where you're confident, you believe that you can achieve what you want to achieve or what you need to achieve. And you know that the path won't always be easy, but you know that it will be rewarding. So with the chariot card here, um, can certainly represent that you've set some intentions, you're manifesting things into your life, or you're just making all the right moves because the stars are aligning for you. And this is also a card of destiny. So again, there's things that are opening up for you. There's things that are shifting in your world in a positive way. All right. And it's because of you, right? It's because of you and your connection between the earth and the stars and you believe in yourself and your confidence. Some days we have a crisis of faith, so to speak, and other days we're just large and in charge, okay? Um, so the chariot is a wonderful energy, but here's the interesting thing here as well. The chariot does speak to your goals, okay? The things that um, really spark your passion, your drive, Okay, the things you're excited about, but it's also an energy of movement. Okay, and remember, we already said that um, some of you may be ready to make some moves. You might be ready to move um, a job, move a department, move a position, move your home, move where you live. Okay, some of you might really be looking to buy something here, um, splurge a little bit with the Queen of Pentacles, right? So maybe you want to buy a new house, move to a better neighborhood, or with the chariot card being um, representing a vehicle, perhaps some of you you're a little bit you're a little bit nervous and concerned about your current um, your current mode of transportation, and maybe you're trying to figure out is this the right time for me to buy a new car? Okay, keep that on a practical level there, right? So maybe your desire here, okay, for a new vehicle is coming over from previous months into May. And this might be a month for you where maybe something is going to happen for you and you might find what you're looking for and you may be able to make that, um, you know, make that happen, right? But that can be a purchase of any kind. It's just something that it's like a moving on to something a little bit better, Okay, so um, whatever it is that you are looking for right now, you are very much on the path that you're meant to be on. You're exactly where you're meant to be. Don't doubt that in the process. Okay, sometimes we need to wait a little bit longer. Sometimes, you know, just wait, you know, we need the stars to align. Um, and sometimes we just need to kind of go and do a little bit of a gut check. Am I still on the right path? Is this still what I want? Am I still headed in the right direction? And then once we figure that out, we move forward even more because the eight of wands can bring about abundance, but also reminds you of your intentions. Your intentions hit the mark wherever you put your energy, wherever you put your efforts, right? This is going to pay off for you and this will be rewarding for you. And sometimes we need to face some challenges along our way. But I think here that you can face whatever life throws at you. We've got the Knight of Cups here for you in your near future. So I am, um, huh, I think there's maybe some exciting opportunities come in. Um, I think I mentioned a little bit, um, a little bit ago that you might have a personal relationship, a commitment that may actually influence your money. 
even your career path this could be something to do with your home and the knight of cups here can represent um you know an offer of love and romance higher level of commitment so perhaps some of you are getting engaged and this actually changes your living circumstances it changes maybe um your career outlook how you make your money because two incomes hey it's a little bit better than one sometimes and sometimes instead of being you know, out in a job solely for the purpose of making money, now we can actually do something that we're meant to do, something that our soul wants us to do, something that's part of our life purpose with that hermit card there. So a personal relationship of some kind could actually open doors of opportunity for some of you, okay? But the Knight of uh, Cups can be an incoming offer or an opportunity, something that's very exciting, the good news, um, or the opportunity that you've been waiting for. Whether this um, brings about some money or um, a job or um, maybe even an apology, right? Getting things back on track, you know, getting things, um, you know, getting things back to a, an element of stability and security rather than a little bit chaos. This can certainly be any and all of that. But this can also be you making a decision, following your heart, your goal, your dreams, listening to your intuition, following your vision, right? And this is you moving forward, okay? A little bit of a hiccup or a slowdown here, and then we keep on going exactly where we're meant to be. And because the knights are always on a quest, they either bring us news, messages, information, opportunities, or they are, um, you know, they are on a quest. And so because this, this could certainly be you, you're on a quest, you're on a mission, and you are believing and you know that you will find what you're looking for or that you will be successful in any endeavor. Now, the Knight of Cups is also very creative energy, very imaginative energy. So, um, you know, if you are looking up to maybe um, spruce up your house or you've got like a creative endeavor that you want to maybe make some money on, maybe a home-based business, this could certainly be a time where this gets off the ground for you. And you may either start something here, a money-making venture, or you may be expanding that, okay? And you're finally starting to see the fruits of your labor. So always exciting when we get the Knight of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups here, and this is you, your current attitude, and also advice from spirit. So your advice from spirit is follow your bliss. Do what makes you happy, and the money will eventually come. Focus on happiness and goals and dreams, okay? And use your imagination and believe that you can achieve whatever you set out to achieve, all right? But the Ten of Cups also shows a focus on family, a focus on your home, your stability, your security, your environment that makes you happy, those connections that bring you fulfillment and joy. So if you're in an, if you're in an environment that brings you chaos and doubt and bleh, drama, okay, then maybe you are looking to move on. You are looking to make some bold moves there and you are looking for that change, okay? I also do think here that some of you, again, you may be buying a house, moving to another location. A relationship may impact your um, ability to make money or how you spend your money. Some of you are focused on your family budget. Um, this month ahead, you're just making sure that your money is going where it's supposed to go and it's not just being siphoned away for something that's really not, um, you know, that's really not you know, rewarding or good, right? Um, and, uh, you know, so sometimes we have to operate within a budget, eh, you know, um, and this is a good month to do that, by the way, okay, is to get your, your family budget and your books in order, file your taxes, all of that kind of stuff. It's a good, good month to get all that squared away while we're in Taurus season, okay? But the Ten of Cups, ultimately, whatever your personal situation, whatever your relationship is, anything like that, you're just, you want to be happy, you want to be content, you want to be fulfilled, you want to feel solid, stable, and secure in where you make, spend your money or where you live and, um, you know, make you, you know, just feel good, right? It's like, I just want to be happy, right? And I just want to be, you know, following my bliss. So whatever that looks like to you and we don't want to be worried about money, right? Um, so, you know, I think here, if you need to make change, it's going to benefit you. And I do think that there is some improvements that are coming in here for you. And this impacts your money in a positive way. 
We have the Ace of Wands coming here. So something is manifesting in your world here, a new opportunity, a new endeavor, a new creative project, you name it. The Aces are um, filled with a little bit of magic, okay? And this is in your external environment. So there could be offers and opportunities and all sorts of very interesting, very wonderful things that are headed your way, okay? But also your ability to start something new. The universe is very supportive with this fresh energy. This is a time of taking action. This is a time of taking initiative. And this is a time of growth, prosperity, and manifestation for you to follow your goals, your dreams, and to make something happen. So be open, be receptive, and pay attention to your intuition and signs around you um, because you have the power to create your hopes and fears. Well, I don't think so. I think that you are filled with hope. Okay, the sun comes out here to chase, chase the shadows away. And you know, the funny thing is here, you have the, look at this, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the sun. Hello? Okay, can we talk about doors of happiness, prosperity, abundance, success, you name it, opening up for you? Yes, I think so. What are you going to do about it? Okay, be like the Knight of Cups and follow your bliss and follow your goals and take that action, right? Action, your actions are rewarding, okay, whether the little way or a big way, okay? But the sun here, the hopes and fears, it's such a positive card. The two happiest cards in the entire deck is what you have gotten. And with that sun, um, I think that you are just really positive. You're optimistic. You've got a really good mindset. Um, I think you're harnessing your opportunities around you. Um, I think you're, you're really maintaining this very high vibe, which is great considering we've got your third eye, the things that you envision, the things that you can attract towards you. And with that sun, I think that your outlook is just incredibly positive, right? And if life throws you a curveball, you're finding a solution. If you feel things are, are a little bit slow or stagnant or stuck, I think you're just being very open, you're being very in the flow, and you're being very accepting of your situation. It's like, I'm not worried. I know things are going to, you know, I'm, I've got my eyes open, I got my ears peeled, and um, I'm ready for something, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to let things happen exactly how they're meant to, right? And that is a great energy considering that we do have the chariot card here for you, right? All about your destiny, things lining up for you exactly as they're meant to right and but you it's because you're not resisting it okay but prepare for action I think prepare prepare to take um, the bull by the horns there and prepare to take some initiative we've got the six of a uh, six of swords coming here for you this is your overall outcome for your reading and that's a great energy and you know the funny thing is that's also <laughs> that's also uh, there you're my third reading and this is the third time in the row that we've gotten the six of swords two more times before with um um, Aries and Taurus the six of swords has been here and yours is here okay so not only is it a goal a dream a possibility to move forward to find a better path to find peace balance and harmony in your life to find a compromise to resolve your issues and to feel a little bit more solid and stable um, it's not just a goal okay it is certainly in the real realm of possibility um, moving forward okay so things working out for you um you know, the Six of Swords does bring about um, an energy of moving forward. Um, the dawn, at dawn um, the light at the end of the tunnel, I should say, okay, and it is where things have been challenging, turbulent, where things have been a little bit uncertain, right? A little bit ooh, floopy and topsy-turvy, and this is where things are smooth sailing ahead for you. Nice and calm, nice and peaceful. We found resolutions. We know what we want, and we're dealing with things, and we're moving on in a very healthy way, okay? The status quo is restored. So that sunrise that's um, on the dawn over there, what does that mean? Is that just getting things sorted out and just feeling like you've got you know, all your ducks in a row, or is it moving forward to something new? Some good news, perhaps, right? So some great energy there for you. I'll get a few more cards here for your external environment. And we, ha we have the Queen of Pentacles for a second time. Not only do you have a goal in mind, but you have the ability to achieve it. The Queen of Pentacles is very committed, 
very abundant. Look at this. New opportunities to improve your environment, your money, your workspace, um, to uh, attract abundance into your life, to improve your, your finances, to gain more wealth, okay, or a solid commitment in your world. Um, so whether this is getting things on track or finding that new opportunity, all of this energy around you, you are attracting abundance into your life and you are very much have the opportunity to get things to where you want to be. We've got the two of wands, two of wands here with the king of swords. Okay, so there might be a very important conversation in your future that does affect your sense of direction and where you go in your future. Okay, the two of wands, look at this. You start with an opportunity, a spark of inspiration, an idea, whatever this happens to be, a gift, okay? Some incoming news, right? First you get that, and then we we think, okay, now where are we going, right? We start to put a plan in place there. Might require communicating with somebody, okay? Or just getting clarity and insight or just really being confident in the direction that you're, that you're taking something. And the King of Swords brings you clarity, a sense of purpose. This also brings a logical way of thinking, right? Getting all of your thoughts in order, but this may be a person here who presents an opportunity to you. Long-term commitment, stability, security, abundance, you name it. Okay, so this could speak to an external relationship that really benefits you. This can be new people entering your life. Okay, or again, we might have personal relationship here for some of you that impacts your money. And so maybe you're, you and your person are getting on the same page and how you spend the household budget, okay? Or again, maybe there is a proposal, an engagement or something on the table. You might be blending families, blending homes with somebody, and this may free you up financially, okay? You might get that offer of long-term commitment um, in your world, okay, if you're in that particular circumstance. But I do think here that your planning, your planning and action come to fruition, you're opening those doors of opportunity and prosperity, and I think it's really quite exciting for you, okay, whether you just have a vision of where you want to go, okay, or whether there's an actual opportunity here, it is no less exciting, whichever situation that, that happens to be. We've got the Emperor, we've got the Ace of Cups, oh, we've got a few extras here, great, we'll just take those. The Four of Cups Magician and the Two of Swords. So we have a very important decision to make, but man, oh man, would you look at this. Talk about doors up, opening up for you. The Emperor, stability, security, success for the long term. Okay, the Six of Swords here with the Emperor. You might have some um, advice from somebody. Okay, you might even have a situation mediated. Whatever it is, it's some really good advice that propels you forward. Okay, and has a successful outcome. The Emperor is Aries energy, okay? Um, and this could be where something that has been sparked in Aries season, okay? Or you may have an Aries person that has some influence or an opportunity for you. And um, this is like uh, an energy of success, of being in the driver's seat, of a strategy paying off, and you're like, yes, this is awesome, okay? So we like having that there. Um, this can also be like big boss man kind of energy. So again, maybe you're moving forward um, to a new position, a position of leadership, This, um, the, which could also bring you more money, by the way. Okay. This can be, um, we've got the ace of cups coming there as well. Okay. So we got two aces out on the board for you here. And this one does speak to love. Okay. So maybe you do have a personal relationship that um, goes up to the next level and this is where everything falls into place for you and this really does impact your money right um your financial stability and also possibly your future um in your career path if you work because this is like maybe now you have doors of open opportunity to do something that you love rather than just it be for money but we do have new opportunities we've got an energy of peace Coming in here with that Ace of Cups, new beginnings, a fresh energy, a fresh start. The Two of Swords, I think where there's been uncertainty and doubt, I think you're letting your intuition guide you to make the right choices, to make the right decisions. 
in your world. And I think you might have a little bit of a surprise coming in here too. We've got the Magician and we also have the Four of Cups. So, um, you know, I think something that is hidden may be revealed. Um, but the Four of Cups also does speak to our ability here, especially with the Magician, to see beyond the things that are right in front of us, right? To look at the big picture, to rise above our current situation, to find those hidden opportunities that may be elusive if we just look at things that are right in front of our face. We've got to see the potential of things and there's something right there. But I do feel like there might be a little bit of a surprise. The universe is bringing in this cup from the sidelines and that cup is the Ace of Cups coming in. So uh, something that you've manifested or something that you've created really does have the potential here to work out wonderfully for the long term may certainly set you on a different course than what you originally thought okay but it leads you into this wonderful energy success security abundance new opportunities new doors manifestation your visions coming to fruition all right some very exciting energy that's there for you okay so uh you know we do have two aces so it could just be you've got a little bit of luck on your side Okay, again, the star is aligning for you, um, especially with that uh, chariot card. So your hard work, efforts, dedication, things are paying off for you, all right, in big ways and also in little ways. Don't forget those aces can be little things, those seeds of opportunity or potential. So sometimes we need to look at the little things too, and not everything is big, right? Those little things add up, all right? So let's get your final message. We've got the thinker energy coming in here for you. Thoughts become things. Simple. Third eye activated. We've got the magician out here for you. Okay. Um, when we think about things, right? Think about what it is you want, what makes you happy, where you want to go, um, what you need to fix, what you need to heal, what brings stability and security in your life. So just like that hermit, right in the start of your reading, first we're thinking and we're contemplating about all of these things and then we spring into action. There's no point taking action on something if you don't know what you want or you don't know what you're looking for. You don't know why right? So your thoughts are coming to fruition, manifesting things into your material world. So just be a little bit aware of that because we can manifest things that we don't want as well as things that we do want. So always focus on the positive, always focus on abundance and the things you want to attract in your life or the things that you want to resolve into your life. Okay. And you shall get them. So a little bit of deep contemplative energy there with the thinker and the hermit. So something that you need to think about, something that you need to decide, and then you move forward. We also have time for a nap. So again, I think there's some calm and peaceful energy that's coming in here, especially with that six of swords. It's like this peace of mind, right? Things working out for the best. Time for a nap also does speak to the fact that the wheels may already be turning for you here. And there's something happening in your month ahead where you don't actually need to take any um, necessary action, right? I mean, we do have the Knight of Cups coming in, but other than that, and of course we do have the Chariot, but that Chariot is coming forward from April, right? So something that's already being put in motion for you. And, you know, so we do have this energy of allowing that's coming in for you. So time for a nap indicates that there's some things going on and spirit says, don't worry, I've got your back. Things are aligning for you. Things are happening for you exactly as they're meant to. So take a load off. Okay. Don't worry about things. Um, I will let you know when the time is right. Pay attention to signs, symbols, synchronicities. Pay attention to your intuition. But in the meantime, take a load off. For some of you here, you have done a lot of hard work. Um, and I think here that you have something coming to fruition. And this will give you that peace of mind. And you can finally take a step back. Breathe that sigh of relief and go, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to go have a nap. I'm going to go and take a load off. And I'm just feeling a lot better and I'm feeling good. So this is a time of peace for you. Blessings headed your way and maybe something exciting on the horizon for you. So I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated for you on some level. If there was, please um, show this video some love. Press that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Throw a comment in the box down below. What are all these aces for you? Are you getting engaged? Do you have a new job? Um, are you looking for new, new opportunities, right? So always interesting to know what is going on with you guys. So 
Thank you very much. Have a great month. I'll see you guys later. Bye.